Hello everybody, this time we talk about some product formula and its applications in the area of finance, accounting and costing. To give you a brief background about the applications, let me just walk you through a simple example. I had purchased a product in, in four different quarters. So first quarter I purchased 100 lots, second quarter 500 lots, third quarter 250 lots and fourth quarter 120 lots. Now the price has been varying over the last four quarters. So in the first quarter I purchased the lot at $1,200 per lot. The per prices declined a bit, but then again it increased a bit and it continued the trend. Now, if somebody asks you to find the weighted average cost per lot, how would you proceed? Using the traditional method, you would first see what is the total price that you had paid for the entire purchases. So you would multiply 100 lot with $1,200. As you copy paste to the next three cells, you get the four numbers, the total money paid. Next, you probably are going to press Alt equal to to initiate the sum formula to add up all the purchase amount. This is the total purchase amount for the entire year. Now, you perhaps also want to find out what are the total purchase lots that has taken place. So in total, how many lots purchased? 970. Finally, you come at a cell and say that look, whatever amount I had paid, that is in this case $1.15 million, divided by the total lots that you had received against them. So this entire procedure leads you to weighted average cost per lot. Now it appears to be so cumbersome. Why? Because you have to move in so many different steps. Compare this with a technique which I'm about to show to you. In fact, let me do one thing. Let me delete uh, this final answer 1185 and let me write a formula. And I wish to write a formula, a single formula, which gives me a consolidated answer without using this intermittent calculation, which I'm deleting one by one. So in one of the cells, I write equal to SUMP and that will give me some product in the drop down. Let me press the tab key and it tells me RA1, RA2, RA3. So basically it is asking me to choose multiple arrays of data. Now, how do I choose that? I choose array one. The formula parameter tells me to put a comma and I do. Let me choose the next array, noting that the height of the arrays are same. Now, what is it going to do? It is going to pick up the first value of first array, first value of second array and going to multiply that. It is going to do the same thing for second value of the first array and second value of the second array and multiply same. Now eventually it will add up all the values and you'll get the same exact answer as you were getting when you had calculated total purchase price for all the four quarters combined. Now watch, this is not the final answer. This only gives you the sum product product first and then finally sum of all the values that you have received. Now this total amount if I divide by the sum of the total lots you received against it and if I do that I get exactly the same answer which you had arrived at after calculating through multiple other steps. So this is a quick formula sum product quite often used to find the weighted average calculation. In fact there are occasions where this is also used with array formula Practice this till this point.